It needs to be fun. It needs to tell a story. Sheila, how did you go from FDIC chair to a children's author about money? I uh, started before I became FDIC chair. I had been the assistant secretary for financial institutions at the Treasury Department in the early 2000s. And during that time, I actually created the Treasury Department's Office of Financial Education. And then, of course, I was also a mom and I had young children. And I had discovered the joy of reading picture books with my children because we would cuddle up at night and we had a lot of favorites. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be a good thing to try to have some rhyming picture books that would be fun and entertaining and light, but also just convey some basic financial concepts that both kids and, and parents could benefit from. What are the biggest money lessons that children should learn? There are so many. And, and what I try to do is, is, is convey basic concepts and you know a lot of these concepts like you know uh, being thoughtful about spending money and borrowing money those just translate into broader principles of life like patience and prudence and thinking what I want to do is provide foundational knowledge about building wealth and avoiding bad products and scams that will take their wealth that will hurt them Sheila why is it important to start teaching children about money at a young age? Like with anything, you want them to start good habits early and understanding what good habits are. There's a lot of misinformation out there that they will be exposed to later. So making sure, again, they have this foundational knowledge uh, when they're still in grade school. That's interesting. So what are the latest additions to your picture book series? These books are written for ages four and up, but teenagers will, I think, get a kick out of these books. They're just they're less intimidating. I think financial books just are off-putting from the get-go. And picture books are just very accessible. You can use the illustrations to make it more accessible. So what advice do you have for parents? Set a good example. Be a good financial role model. Uh, talk with your kids. They ask about money. Give them good answers. Make sure you have the knowledge. Give them good answers. Find resources. My books are one, but there, there's a lot of other literature out there, and I hope more will be coming. Do allowances, have some savings component to the allowance, talk with your children about how they're going to spend their allowance. Uh, I think those are, especially at the grade school level, those are really uh, the important things, uh, important ways to engage with your child. And uh, they will benefit hugely if you do that. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.